Indeed, you're listening to him. He, he doesn't know what happened either. He's <laughs> massively disappointed. Seems a bit confused as to how the whole thing panned out. Yeah, maybe they underestimated that uh, Georgian team because they haven't won in the campaign. But if you saw the first half, one team hasn't lost in the campaign, one hasn't won. You would have thought it's, it's the other way around. And sometimes games do start and then it's, you miss the start of the, of the game and then it's very hard to get into it. And, and this is how it looked to me. But they ran at the races and, and maybe it was the worst thing that could have happened to them, scoring that early goal. Mm. Because they're on the, it, begs the on question, the it begs the question, Dara, what have they been told before the off how to play? Is it just get the ball and kick it as far as you can down the pitch? Because that's what it seemed like. You know, Robbie Brady and Harry Arta, they had, they had poor games. Glenn Whelan had poor games. Arta must be bewildered because where the culture he comes from uh, at Bournemouth, where they get the ball and they play it out from the back, he looked, you know, a fish out of water tonight, didn't know what was going on. So it begs the question, what are they being told before the game? It's just let's play hopeful football, kick it down the pitch, Flick on, and it has worked for, for us before. Don't get, get me wrong, you know, we've scored a few goals, but you've got to mix it up. And Martin O'Neill said before the game that it was going to be so hot that we needed to keep hold of the ball. But did he tell the players that? Because it didn't look like it. Because as soon as they got the ball, they launched it down the pitch. And the other thing about Martin O'Neill's tactics is everybody knows what they are. The opposition know what they are. So they big defenders winning the ball, challenging Walters, challenging Long. Then they pick it up and it's another wave of attacks over and over again. It's uh, you have to play football. You have to pass the ball. You have to support the man on the ball. And you have to have options when you're the person on the ball. If that's missing, people start getting scared of getting on the ball because they know they're going to be isolated. We've all been in in a team, because we we're all wear midfield players. But there is a, the questions to be asked. I mean, Harry Arthur was taken off after 65 minutes. Wes Hulham sitting on the bench. Mm. Um, how long can we go on carrying Glenn Whelan? We had to carry James McCarthy before. And uh, it, it really does beg questions. I mean, at half time after the first 45 minutes, you'd have to, something has to be said, okay to the players and it, uh, nothing really changed in the second half except George got a bit tired. That's the only difference. McGeady made a bit of a difference. McGeady then. made a difference. He showed some composure on did, the yeah. ball yeah. and we began to m make some passes. The fact that uh, Christie overlapped four, five, six times in the second half indicates that at least we made some ground. We did pass the ball but in the first but, half yeah. the players must have been told just get it down.